Hello YouTube and thank you for watching. Uh, today I want to talk about auditing the uh, DDL changes that are occurring in your production database. Uh, after a new release, there's a number of objects that get modified and it is very important for the uh, DBA to keep uh, track of these changes. For example, if a table was created, uh, it may need to be uh, added to the uh, Golden Gate replication. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a table uh, that will capture the history uh, and it will consist of the modification date, the OS user, uh, the current user, uh, as well as the host name where they're connected from, terminal information, owner of the schema, the object type, the object name, uh, DDL statement, as well as the system event that fired. After creating the table, let's see what's in there. So we will go ahead and delete the history and start uh, fresh. The second component uh, is, is a database level trigger and uh, this code has been uh, copied uh, and modified uh, slightly uh, from a Stack Overflow uh, article which I'll post in the uh, description. Uh, essentially what the trigger does is if the system event that fired is truncate table, it'll ignore it. If the object type uh, happens to be a table, then it will capture the actual DDL statement. and log an entry under the object DDL column. For all else, it'll log the um, information uh, without the uh, DDL statement. The reason for this is because the um, store procedures views uh, can easily exceed 8,000 characters and the trigger could fail uh, as a result. Also, there's uh, performance implications. Let's do a demo. So the first thing we're going to do is create a table. And we'll create an index. And we'll alter the table column. We'll come back to the uh, drop statements a little later. Next, we're going to create a store procedure function. and a view and let's see what information has been captured so far so here you can see the object types uh, the schema owner um, as well as the um, individual that cre the, uh, created uh, these objects and over here uh, you can see the actual uh, DDL statements um, and the trigger will only log DDL for object type table and these are the system events that fire the trigger. Let's see what happens when we uh, modify a view. So here you can see that um, it a actually uh, logged create a system event for the view VW deleting. Okay, let's go and take a look at the drop statements now. So the first thing we're going to do is drop the index and we're going to drop the table. So here at the bottom of the table here, you can see that the index was dropped. Then the table got dropped. And interestingly enough, um, it goes into the recycle bin.
Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.